Happy Wednesday, everybody. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I'm a little bit tired. Slept in a little bit. Kind of tired. Went to bed late. You know how it is. I hope my friends are doing so good. I miss you all so much. McKaylin, Dylan, Liam, Santi, Lindsay, Ivy, Nathan. I miss you all. Give me a thumbs up if you're here. Awesome. I'm so glad to see that you are all here today. Make sure that you're following your rules, not just at school, because we're not at school, but also at home too. That means we're listening and doing the first time. So if mom or dad or grandma or grandpa says to do something, do we say no or no thank you? No, we say, okay, right? Because we need to respect our parents and our grandparents. We are respectful and we are safe, right? So does that mean we keep our hands and our feet to ourselves? Yes, that's being safe, right? Keeping our hands and feet to ourselves. We don't hit, right? We don't kick. We are kind friends, being kind and calm and helpful, right? We are supposed to be helping our parents. We can help clean. We can help straighten our room or whatever they ask us to do, right? We say, okay, because we are big girls and boys and we know what to do. My friends, I'm so happy to see you again this morning. We are going to get started with our morning meeting. School rule song. Are you ready? I want you all to stand up. Stand up, get those singing voices. Awesome. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click the plus subscribe button. Be responsible. Be safe. Be respectful. Hey, hey, hey. Be responsible. Be safe. Be respectful. Hey, hey, hey. I was the line leader today because my teacher said I was responsible that way. And when I walked to lunch, everyone followed me. It was cool. It was good. It was great to be. Be responsible. Be safe. Be respectful. Hey, hey, hey. Be responsible. She walked next to me It was cool, it was good It was great to be Be responsible Be safe Be respectful Hey, hey, hey Be responsible Be safe Be respectful Hey, hey, hey I raised my hand in class today Because I respect my friends that way And when I raised my hand The teacher called on me It was cool, it was good It was great be safe, be respectful, hey, 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 be responsible, be safe, be respectful, hey, hey, hey. Treat others the way you want to be treated, that's the golden rule. Being responsible, safe. Be safe, be respectful, hey, hey, hey! All right, my friends. Being safe, being responsible, and being respectful. It is so important. I can't tell you how important it is to be safe, respectful, and responsible. So now what do we do next in our morning meeting? Month of the year? Not yet, we're doing days of the, days of the week. Nice job, days of the week. Use your pointer finger and count how many days are in a week. Are you ready? Did you count? How many days are in a week? 
seven. There are seven days in a week. Nice job. What do we have to do next? Sing our song, our days of the week song. But first, I want to let you know so you can remember that yesterday was t Tuesday. Just think about that. Keep that in your noggin, okay? Yesterday was Tuesday. So that means today is what? I don't know. We'll have to see. Let's sing our song. Clap your hands and rock and roll. Feel that beat down in your soul. Sing and dance right along with me. The rock and roll days of the week. Let's twist some. Right, rock and roll days of the week. Now let's see what day of the week is it? I said yesterday was t Tuesday. So that means today is what? Wednesday. Great job. Today is Wednesday. So that means tomorrow will be what? What comes after Wednesday? Start with the th th sir. Thursday. Awesome job. Today is Wednesday, tomorrow will be Thursday. Crazy, it's already the middle of the week. What's going on? It's going so fast. Now we have to figure out what month are we in right now? Like I said, we had a holiday last uh, Saturday and it was called the 4th, of, the 4th of July. So we know what month we're in, right? Let's sing our months of the year song. Everybody stand up, get ready to dance. Children's songs, sing and move along. Children's songs, make your brain and body strong. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. August, September, October, November, December, come on, you try. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. August, September, October, November, December, come on, let's try. Oh, these are the months of the year. The months of the year, oh, these are the months of the year. Twelve months in every year. Twelve months in every year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. August, September, October, November, December. Come on, let's try. Oh, these are the months of the year. Oh, these are the months.
months of the year Oh, these are the months of the year Twelve months in every year Twelve months in every year January, February, March, April, May, June, July August, September, October, November, December Come on, let's smile. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Awesome. Month of the year. So now we should know what month we're in right now. It comes after June and before August. Point to it on the screen if you know what month we're in. July, you got it right. We are in July. Can you spell July? What is the let the first letter? J. J. A. Uh, U. L. L. Y. Y. July. Good job. All right, now we have to say our daily sentence, right? Are you ready? Thumbs up if you're ready. Okay, so we know it's July. Do you know what year we're in? It's on the top of the screen. 20, 20, 2020, nice job. All right, let's count and figure out what day of the week it is. Are you ready? You can use your pointer finger if it helps to count. What number do we always start with? The number one, right? Get those pointer fingers ready to start counting. One, count with me, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice job. Today is, repeat after me. Are you ready? Today is July 8th, 2020. What day of the week is it? What? Wednesday. Good job. Thumbs up, friends. And then what year was it again? 20. Point to the screen if you can tell me which one it is. Is it 2019? No. Is it 2020? Yes. Nice job. Now we have to figure out what season we're in. I can tell you I am hot. I am hot every day, all day. So that means it only has to be one season. It can't be winter. I don't know if is it spring, summer, fall. Let's sing our song. Story bots. Cold weather's kind of winter's thing. In spring, the plants get back their bling. By summer, they're in full swing. But in fall, their leaves go tumbling. Down, down, down to the bottom. Oh, that reminds me, some folks call fall autumn. Well, anyway, winter, spring, summer, fall. One year, four seasons in all. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Four seasons, you can count them all. Summer, fall, one year, four seasons in all. Winter, spring, summer, fall, and now you know them once and for all. All right. How many seasons are there again? Use your pointer finger and count. One, two, three. Four, four seasons. And what season are we in right now? What did it say? When the sun's out and it's hot and we can go bike riding and swimming. That means what season we're in? Summer. We're in summer. That's why we're home and we're not in school also because it's summer, right? What is the weather like today? Hmm. Do you want to come with me to my window to see what it looks like outside for me? Let's go. 
what is the weather like? I heard it's supposed to rain later today, but it's not raining right now. I can tell you that much. Hold on one second. Let's look out the window. Go this way. What do you see out the window? You see the sun shining. So that means, what is it? It is sunny. Nice job. It is sunny. What color is the sun? You're right. It's yellow. What is the temperature like today? Hmm. Let's see. The temperature. Can you see my screen? Might be backwards, but it is, whoops. What is that number? Eight and a one. So it's 81. And then what does that little symbol mean again? Duh degrees 81 degrees Whew, that means it is what look at the chart to the left of the screen there's the number 80 at the top so it's around there where 81 is what is that guy's face he looks like he's sweating does it match the other picture where it says hot yep so that means it's hot outside hot 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 what should you wear today i think it's the same you should wear should have worn yesterday and the day before. You should know. What do you think we should wear? Point to what you think we should wear on our top. A shirt and shorts. Nice job. A t-shirt and shorts. That is the best for a hot day. Awesome. And how do you feel today? I'm telling you that I feel a little tired today. And that's okay to feel tired, right? It's good to have a big smile on your face, though, and a positive attitude because we are so grateful for the country live, we live in and all the blessings that we have and everything that we get is such a nice thing. Okay, let's move on. All right, my friends, animals in action. Now we are going to sing our song, Animals in Action, because what is the theme this summer? You're right, animals. So we're gonna do a dance and sing along to Animals in Action, so stand up. Jack Cartman, Kids Music Channel. Yeah. 
Be friends. Place your mouse on my guitar and click the red subscribe button. Also, you can click this icon to visit my website. All right, friends. That is something you can do. If you go on Jack Hartman's website, there's a lot of cool stuff on there, parents. I'm not sure if you're watching, but kids, Jack Hartman's website's really cool. A lot of fun games and a lot of fun videos that all the kids love every time I play them. Okay. Now I want you all to sit in your seats. Sit down in a comfortable spot. Eyes are on the screen. We're gonna practice some relaxed breathing. I know that being home is tough and having to stay home with our families a lot and not being able to go to school, not being able to see our friends, not being able to go to places like the mall or sometimes to a park or things that we wanna do like the movies because of the virus right now, we're all home still and we're trying to stay safe. And I know it's really, really hard to do. It's really hard to do. And I'm so proud of all of you for doing such a good job. But when we get upset or angry, it's not nice to be angry and hit or to yell or to kick, right? Right. When we're angry, we shouldn't hurt others because we are being kind people and kind friends, right? We don't wanna hurt anybody. So when you're not feeling good or you're angry or upset, should we use our hands and punch or hit? No. Should we kick or scream or yell or hit? No. So when you're feeling angry and upset, it's a really good idea to just sit down in a comfy spot. It could be your bed, it could be your kitchen, ta uh, kitchen chairs, it could be your couch, anything that you feel comfortable in. Take a seat and do some relaxed breathing, which is like this blowfish is gonna do. Are you ready? Thumbs up if you're ready. Okay, get to practice that breathing. So we're going to breathe just like the blowfish is breathing. Ready? In and out. Nice job, friends. We can practice breathing to help us calm down and not be as angry, just like the blowfish. Okay, friends, today we are going to listen to a new story and start with a new letter. What letter do you think I'm gonna start with? What comes after the letter A? It goes A, B, B, the letter B. So we're gonna do a letter for two days in a row. We did Monday and Tuesday, the letter A, so today and tomorrow, we're gonna do the letter B. Nice job. This story is called Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? Whoops. All right.
Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Have you ever seen a blue horse? I haven't, I don't think they're real. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. Have you, have you ever seen a purple cat? Not me. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see children looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? We see a brown bear, a red bird, a yellow duck, a blue horse, a green frog, a purple cat, a white dog, a black sheep, a goldfish, and a teacher looking at us. That's what we see. The end. So point to the bear and tell me what sounds a bear makes. Grrr, right? What about a red bird? or any kind of bird, what kind of sound does a bird make? Tweet, tweet, right? What about a yellow duck? What kind of sound does a duck make? Quack, 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 quack. What about a horse, a blue horse? Nay. What about a green frog? Ribbit, ribbit. What about a purple cat? What about a white dog? Bark, 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 bark. <laughs> what about a black sheep? Bah. What about a goldfish? Go like this. That's what goldfish do if you squeeze your cheeks. Okay, nice job, friends. All right. That is the end of our morning meeting today. I am so happy that you spent this time with me. Remember you are special, you are important and you matter. I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. Make sure you're being safe, respectful and responsible, listening and doing the first time. And there's also going to be games that I'm linking down below the video that you can play and make sure you're trying your best at home, okay? All right, friends, have a happy, happy, happy Wednesday. Bye.